let's do some sorry about that let's do some science um, because science is fun sometimes scientists deal with really really big numbers for instance let's take this happy fellow here how do we know he's happy well with a big smile on his face he's shining on or a blue planet this little guy way out in space and this little guy has all these weird clouds covering him. obviously I'm looking at the Sun and uh, the earth and the distance between these two objects in our solar system is about 92.96 million miles. The proper way to write this number is 92,960,000 miles. But if I were a scientist doing calculations either multiplying or dividing by 92,960,000 miles, it's really cumbersome to, to work with, with the um, the numerals here. So scientists have come up with their own notation scheme. Um, they can take really big numbers like 92,960,000 and they can write them differently so that this part of the number, the significant figures where we're rounding to, is a number that's smaller than 10. It's bigger than 1 but smaller than 10. So let's rewrite this as 9.2 nine six and now what I need to know is from the decimal the implied decimal that's behind that last zero there how do I go how many times do I have to change place value or basically multiply by ten in order to get in front of the two here well I go from the ones behind the ones to the two behind the tens behind the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousands, the hundred thousands, the millions, and the ten millions. So that jump occurs, I'm multiplying by ten, seven times. So 9.296 times ten to the seventh power, or ten million, that is 92,960,000 uh, uh, miles. Yeah. Okay, well, let's take a look at another one just to see how that works. Um, let's see, what's another sciencey thing? Ah, yes, the speed of light. Speed of light in meters per second is approximately two hundred ninety-nine million eight hundred thousand meters per second. This is our big numbers in scientific notations, right? And again, that's going to be a little too cumbersome for me to write as a scientist if I'm going to um, compare this number to the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Uh, I don't want to do these big gigantor numbers. Um, so I will rewrite this portion of the number, the important part, as 2.998 times 10 to the, we start out over here and we move over three, six, seven, eight times. So that's 10 to the eighth power. And you'll notice that if, as long as this number is positive, your exponent on the 10, as long as it's positive, it's taking this number here and making it much bigger. So well, it doesn't have to be much bigger. It could be only a little bigger, but in these two cases, it's, it's pretty big, actually. Um, so, that's scientific notation with bigger numbers. Let's look at scientific notation with small numbers. See if you can recognize this drawing. All right. That's a nucleus. I'll give you a hint. That's a nucleus. This little guy traveling around the nucleus. That little guy is an electron. If you guessed that this is a hydrogen atom, well, good for you. 
Now, it's, it's been a long time since I've done chemistry. So let me let me see if I can do this from memory. Um, a hydrogen atom has an atomic weight of 1.008. What does that mean? What that means is if I had one mole of hydrogen atoms, like if I could if I could get a certain number of atoms, one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles uh, atoms of hydrogen. This is uh, this is Avogadro's number. Avogadro. I always remember his name because it sounds a little bit like avocado. But this is Avogadro's number. It's a it's a constant uh, 6.02, and it's actually more significant than that. Um, but any number of units, 6.02 times 10 to the 23, is called one mole. And and one mole of the protium um, um, isotope, the hydrogen atoms, basically, weighs one about 1.008 grams, or slightly more than a paperclip. Okay. Well, with that information, what we can say is, if that's the case, then one specific hydrogen atom is 1.008, and we'll write that in scientific notation, times 10 to the 0 power, divided by Avogadro's number, 6.02 6 times 10 to the 23rd power. And so, in order to calculate that, we'll do 1.008 8 divided by 6.02 and we'll multiply that by 10 to the 0 power divided by 10 to the 23rd power. What we'll get is somewhere, and this is an approximation again, this will be about 0 0.167 and this will be 10 to the negative 23. If you looked at your powers of ex your uh, rules of exponents prior to this video, you would know that in order to get this number, I would have to subtract. This is equal to 10 to the 0 minus 23. And that will give me the exponent on the 10 there. Um, and we're not quite there in writing this number, because remember here, this has to be greater than 1 but less than 10. Right now it's, it's less than 1, so I'll have to move the decimal over one place to get 1.67. And when I move the decimal over one place this way, that means this number, um, I'm making this number bigger. I have to make this number smaller. So that'll be 10 to the negative 24, uh, 24th power. This is the weight in grams of one single hydrogen atom. So that means I'll have a 1 with 23. If I move that over 1, then I'll have 23 zeros in front of it. So the weight in grams is 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 1, 6, 7 grams is one hydrogen atom.